Uh, what's going on today YouTube? This is 48 Conclive. I have here my Springfield XDS which is clear. Uh, <clears throat> I recently picked up this uh, seven round magazine which adds two capacity to the five round magazine. Uh, for the nine millimeter version uh, it'll be a nine round capacity versus a seven. <clears throat> But I picked this up for about $33.99 at a gun show, which wasn't only really a couple dollars more than this one. And I figured, since the gun already came with two of these magazines, it'd be kind of nice to have the extended magazine for planking at the range or just general recreational shooting. I probably wouldn't carry this, but I might put this in a uh, keep it on me just as a backup uh, with an extra two rounds. It's kind of nice to have. Um, but on the gun itself, <clears throat> uh, Springfield did a really good job of matching the contours of the back of the grip and the recess here, as well as keeping the grip surface on the front of the strap and on the back. Um, this is really uh, a decent design. Uh, it's just an adjustable sleeve just like oops, just like the back of the grip here uh, so you can have a small one or the big one and it does come with both of these um, <clears throat> now on this gun like I noted it looks really well on there and it actually adds a, a lot of grip surface for you so you can really uh, get a lot more purchase and have a lot more control of the gun uh, but I've seen other magazines released by uh, Ruger and they just don't even compare to matching up like this uh, on the Ruger LC9 and LC380 uh, the extended bag really just does not match the gun at all it, it bumps out and just kinda ugly this really doesn't look that bad and it looks actually kinda cool and serves its purpose. I would definitely recommend picking it up if you have a Springfield XDS. Uh, it just adds a little bit more flexibility to your XDS platform. Thanks for watching.